In Search of the Ninja by Anthony Cummins Extracts read by the author This scroll should be passed down to one person. That person should train as a musha warrior and be familiar with the mountains and fields, the forests and the oceans, and he should understand the tactics of war, how to form military camps, understand castle planning, topography and travel around the provinces. Master Matsumoto did this for a long time without stopping, and he trained for years on end. These are the secrets of Koka. This is an extract from the Iga Ryu Koka Ryu Shinobi Hiden. Page 9. You should build watch fires in front of your position. Close all the gates and allow no one to come or go without questioning. This is done to block the enemy shinobi. This extract was taken from 1689. Page 16. The following is from the 1656 Bukyo Zensho military manual and outlines the requirements and uses of the ninja. Those who should be chosen as ninja. 1. Those who look stupid but are resourceful and talented in speech or are witty. 2. Those who are capable and act quickly and who are stout and can endure. Also, those who do not succumb to illness. 3. Those who are brave and open-minded and those who know much about certain districts and people all over the country, with the addition of being eloquent. Items you should be aware of in order not to allow a spy or shinobi to infiltrate your position. 1. Strictly guard the gates and checkpoints and arrange for signal fires and signal flags and also dual section tallies identifying marks and passwords. 2. Examine merchant travellers or travelling monks who are training or collecting for their home temple. 3. If any of your allies have relatives within an enemy, they should declare this immediately. 4. If you receive an offer from the enemy to spy for you, you should report this immediately. 5. Understand the difference between truth and untruth. 6. If the enemy offer reconciliation and they say that they are sincere, then be careful not to be deceived by them. 7. Do your best to defend against double agents. Of Shinobi Scouts Shinobi Scouts are people called Shinobi, who go to and come from the enemy provinces and they acquire information. There are traditional skills exclusive to them and they spy on and ascertain the status of the enemy. Tasks assigned to the shinobi 1. To take advantage of enemy gaps in reference to both information and the enemy position. 2. Getting through doors. 3. Body warming device, the donohi, and ignition tools. 4. Signal fires and passwords. 5. The art of quickly changing appearance. 6. Tools used to climb fences, stone walls, earth walls or to cross over rivers. 7. The carrying of various tools. 8. To hide that which is hidden and to display that which should be shown. 9. Attaining a certain mindset. Page 21. The Taiheiki War Chronicle. The first historically identifiable use of the ideogram for ninja as a definite name for a military role dates to the late 14th century where two descriptive segments discuss the shinobi and show their first confirmed usage. The document is the famous Taiheiki War Chronicle. Volume 20 states, One night, as it was windy and raining, Moro Nao took advantage of the weather and sent out Itsumono no Shinobi, excellent ninja, to infiltrate Hachiman Yama and to set fire to the buildings. Volume 24 continues with the second use of shinobi. The shogun's military governor led 200 armed people on a night raid and approached Shijo Mibu from the direction where Kukyo no shinobi, that's robust ninja, were hiding. These soldiers in the complex did not care for their life or for death and went to the top of the building and after spending all their arrows committed suicide. Page 28 for their abilities and conduct, 21 families of Koko were given a letter of appreciation for their achievements, and the Omi Onkoroku document 
that's from 1684 to 1687, states the following. The Shinobi Shu of Iga and Koka are renowned because they accomplished an amazing feat at the Battle of Magari no Jin, earning the respect of the massive army gathered there. Since then they have achieved great fame. The document then continues to describe the tactics of the warriors as Kiroku no Ho. The military manual of Gokuhi Gunpo Hidensho uses the word shinobi. It states, Understanding if the enemy are experiencing famine. To identify the status of the enemy, you should send a shinobi to pretend to be a woodcutter or mower in the enemy's territory. He should have the lower ranking people of that area drink alcohol and then he should listen to their conversation for clues. The document continues later on with How to know if there is an ambush ahead. To know if there is an ambush in a forest, send a shinobi from the leeward side so that he can smell that musket fuses and so that they can listen for sounds on the wind. A document written by Samu Kawa, a retainer of Zizi domain in Omi, states the following about the men of Iga and Koga. Shinobi no Mono are named using the word Iga or Koka, and they are those people who infiltrate the enemy castle freely and obtain enemy secrets by listening or by watching, and then bring this information back to their allies. In China they are called Sai Saku, and among military tacticians they are called Kagi or Monogiki. During the Iroku period, that's 1558 to 70, there was a great and peerless performer of ninjutsu whose name was Tobikato, that's Flying Kato. Page 48. Yori Fumi, as a shinobi, in his quotation from his manual, says the following. In peace times, when you go to other provinces on missions, you should take those of a lower social position and carry alternative raincoats, spare clothes and so on. You should reach the appropriate contact and proper person. This is how you'll be able to see and hear what you need to. Before you go into a place of importance, you should leave your swords somewhere and you, as a master, should exchange places with those below you. Or you may take the form of a merchant, pilgrim or yamabushi. The Onmitsu Hiji Shinobi Dai Scroll gives an insight into the rank of the ninja and the ninja band. When entering a battle, you should carry arrows, guns, an investigation or measuring rod, togikinawa, tools to help you cross moats and rivers, stone wall type climbing tools, donohi body warmers, and fire lighting equipment, torches and fire projectiles. The highest ranking person should plan the forthcoming infiltration. Remember, do not throw away your tools as they may come into the possession of the enemy and your plan may be detected. Remove your armour when you steal in. Page 49. This page talks about the position of ninja. So a listings from 1781 states that ten koku for the seven eager captains with permission to hire two servants. Nine koku for each eager mono, 61 in total with permission to hire two servants. 5 koku for the 14 eager trainee ninjas with permission to hire two servants. In a document in 1868, it describes the duties of the eager people. The eager group undertook Onmitsu no Tantai, espionage, and received Gonai Mei or secret orders directly from the Lord. To add to this, if needed, the Lord would give them secret orders and they will be told to infiltrate a distant province at short notice. Page 69 The Art of Transformation and Mutation Bake Mono Jutsu This quite specific skill is often translated as ghost skill. However, the Western and Eastern concepts of ghost somewhat differ. Bake Mono can have connotations of invisibility and transformation, which better fits the skill description. The idea is to become the enemy, to don his clothes, to use his speech, and thus to infiltrate. The Chinese manuals echo this skill. For example, disguising some men as emissaries is the means by which to sever their supply lines. Page 70 According to Sawyer in his extensive work on the Chinese classics, some ancient Chinese considered a man who could sneak into a complex unnoticed as a dog thief. This is a small but invaluable piece of evidence. 
The Japanese Gokuhi Gunpo Hidensho manual discusses dogs in terms of defense against intruders and it states how to know if a dog has infiltrated. On the external side of a fence, dig a ditch three feet deep and three and a half meters wide. Then place a layer of sand at the base, which measures around eight centimeters to depth. Do this so you can see the footprints of any dog which infiltrates your position. Remember, dogs are clever and they will hide their footprints. Therefore, you should neatly rake the sand into patterns and observe the sand carefully. The same manual also states, in ancient China, the people there used to check ahead for ambushes by sending their dogs to detect them. Authors note, in this context, dog means shinobi or sneaking thief. Continued. Thus, in ancient China and Sengoku period Japan, people who infiltrated your position were known as dogs and generally fulfill the role of a shinobi, as one who creeps in. This puts the dog thief in both countries with identical skills. From the Bansen Shukai we can get confirmation that dogs are in fact high level performers of silent infiltration or innin. For example, at the time of attack send Meikashi scouts or dogs to see how numerous the enemy are or if they are asleep or not. A section of the Bansen Shukai dedicated to burglary talks of big dogs and small dogs and how to open the doors. The quotation is thus. Question. Granted, now it is understood that watchmen should be selected with special care, but can we use those who are restless and impatient for other jobs instead of just watchmen? Answer. It goes without saying that proper selection is the same for scouts, big dogs, small dogs, fire performers, fire assistants and other such jobs, but only watchmen are mentioned specially. Page 77 Ninja like fire assaults in China. Perhaps the earliest entry of ninja like figures in Chinese history are the Tai Pan Yin Ching's Incendiary Thieves or Hyo Tao. The resemblance of the ninja borders on the identical. The quote is thus Pick a man who is courageous and nimble, whose speech and clothes are the same as the enemy. After flinching their passwords, he should be dispatched to sneak into the enemy's encampment, bearing fire, and burn their stores and provisions. When the fire starts, he can exploit the confusion and get out. The only difference to this in the Bansen Sukai is that the ninja should attempt to stay hidden during the confrontation so he is not killed by his own side on the exit. A further Chinese manual states, Select clever, skilled warriors who are strong enough to oppose 100 men and have them pretend to be merchants or traders and enter the city long before any action develops. Then when your own soldiers reach the city walls, they, the agents, can respond by burning people's dwellings in the middle of the night. When the flames illuminate the entire area, they should falsely yell that the enemy have penetrated the city. The people and the soldiers will be totally confused and you can exploit the opportunity and achieve your objective. Page 86 the Kokoryu Densho lists the following The five types of practical training of gods and of Buddhism, medical training, craftsmanship and the arts of the merchant, sake manufacture and farming, the arts, including dance, theatre, street performance, the seven forms of infiltration through temples and shrines, as a medicine peddler, as a craftsman or merchant, as a sake merchant or farmer through exploiting the arts and performance, damage text, illegible, through greed or desire, the art of fireboku or mouth gags. The Shoninki manual lists 10 ancient ways of ninjutsu that describe as fundamental building blocks of the shinobi arts. The first principle of the 10 is named onseinin and concerns sound. The word fireboku emerges with regard to information gathering, music and eavesdropping. Baiboku is initially thought to be the concept of gagging a horse, but is in fact also the skill of gagging humans of their own free will. Those who engage in youchi or night raid, including shinobi, would place wooden sticks in their mouths and tie them around their heads for security, with the aim of the individual and the team remaining silent during their raid. Perhaps only the samurai troops were gagged and the shinobi kept their mouths free to use passwords and to talk to each other. 
The Toryu Shinobi no Maki scroll is heavily based on Chinese thought and the system of the five spires and is considered to be connected to Natoru Ryu. The scroll itself lists the 139 ways of Dako. Unfortunately, the list is a section of mnemonics or prods to be used to pass on Kudem or oral tradition. The inventory includes detaching from desire, concealing the ego, how to use common methods of people, the keeping of a calm mind, the art of knowing if people speak the truth, Shinobi used as scouts. Page 114. A Ninjutsu Hidensho manual from 1675 displays similarities with the Bansen Shukai. Here is a list of their skills. The art of the tonneau fire. The art of the attack torch, the art of the pulling rope, the art of gunnery, the art of the grapple and rope, the art of the extending key, the art of drills, the art of saws, the art of the kunai, the art of crossing moats, the art of illusion fire, the art of Yoshitsune's sorch, the art of the palm fire, the art of the shinobi torch, the art of the night attack rocket, the art of the greater rainproof battle camp torch. The Murasami Daihi no Maki manual shows how even a smaller manual truly reflects real Shinobi no Jutsu and deals with similar themes. The short table of contents is as follows. Concerning gunpowder, the fire cylinder, the water torch, illegible text, probably a recipe for an explosive. Powder, concerning medicines, the art of the Hinoa fuse for guns and explosives, concerning the cord attached to swords. Page 118. It may simply be a list of Natoru Ryu skills and is closely associated with the Shonin manual. Or if it is external to Natoru Ryu, then both documents spring from the same source. The extract is as follows. In relation to wind and rain, it is beneficial to steal in when it is windy. However, it is not so beneficial when it rains as you will leave footprints. The blackboard. When you steal in and your presence has been detected, you should hide under a window. This is because if someone examines the outside of the window, they seldom look downwards, so you should carry a black board to cover you. This is called the window lid, and this way you'll not be found. A shinobi should first of all think of windows when he infiltrates. The sword ladder. When crossing a fence, place your sword against the fence and use the hilt, tsuba, as a foothold so you'll climb over the wall. Iron Spike Steps The Kogai Bashigo Place iron spikes, Kogai, into a wall and make footholds so then climb up them. Securing Doors and Gates Some gatehouse doors can be opened by removing the bar or by keys. Therefore, tie a rope to the illegible tech and then secure it to the bottom to hold the door fast and to stop people entering. Page 127 Ninja Magic the Bansen Shukai holds a fascinating magic spell which gives us a view into the world of the ninja and the daring behind their infiltration. The quote is as follows. When you happen to meet an enemy patrol, you should not be upset, but hide yourself by staying by the side of a wall, fence, shrubbery or lumber, a pile of firewood or anything like this, and without making any noise. You should cover your face with your sleeve and only expose your eyes. Make no breathing sound and be careful not to make the enemy feel your breath. Stay standing and completely still. Then, chant the mantra of Ongyo hiding magic in your mind. The mantra is Onna Nichi Mara Shie Sowaka and shape your hands into the mudra of Hokyo. Or you can turn your back to the enemy while standing if needs be. If you perform this, you will not be detected in most cases. There have been many examples of this spell success. Those who do not know this method tend to lose their head and rush to seek a place to hide when they realise the enemy is coming. So they'll often make a sound or footsteps or audibly breathe, hit something, tread in the dust and end up being found out because of this. Page 128 Magical Ninja Hiding Hairpins or Talismans The Gunpo Jyoshu Manual discusses the art of invisibility when attempting night raids or shinobi missions. It says the following to become invisible to the enemy, take the fangs from a live venomous mamushi pit viper and put them in your top knot. In the case of an emergency, if the captain of a shinobi night attack or scout carries this in his hair, then they will not be seen by the eyes of the enemy. However, 
If they have doubts or use this skill for their own evil desires, they will meet their nemesis and they will be discovered by the enemy and be seen more than they usually would. Page 130. The Fukushima Ryu Manual deals with some very esoteric areas, some of which are not fully understood, as seen below. The table of contents is as follows. The subtleties of ninjutsu. The spider hand, dream and fantasy ninjutsu. The pulling of your body. Attacking and defending, defense against juji magic. The Koka Ryu Bujitsu manual also includes magic spells among its lists. Samples from the document include explosives, magic spells, medicines, signals, torches, sleeping powders, how to identify secret letters, how to get water from seawater, charms and talismans, seasickness cures. The Inko Ryu document contains the following list. Breathing, the art of whistles, seeing at night, skills and tools of the shinobi, poisons, removing poisons, important points to be used at night, things to do in the dark without a light, magic spells. Page 141. The record of the history of Kishu Tokugawa clan, or the Nanki Tokugawa Shi document from the early Meiji Restoration, was compiled from 1888 to 1901 and used original documents of the Kishu Tokugawa clan. Whilst produced much later than the events themselves, it is an official document of the Tokugawa government and should be considered as a highly reliable source, owing to its purpose and access to primary documentation. It states the following about Natori Ryu. Their ancestor was a Koshu warrior, therefore they used Koshu military ways, and it was named Natori Ryu. From generation to generation they were a master family of military art and recruited disciples. The things they did were secret, therefore the way of their school is unknown. Page 147 A version of the Shoninki document is found in a private collection of Dr. Nakashima at Sumi. It's a stolen version. The inscription from 1716 in his edition reads, The above Shoninki is what I copied and stole in stealth from a secret writing of the new Kusunoki School of Military Warfare. Therefore, it is not my own work. However, I will now pass it down for generations to sons and grandsons to use and practice with. Signed by Inaba Tango no Kami. 67 years old, the 10th day of the 6th lunar month, the month of no water in the year 1716. Page 151. Just how renowned the men of Iga and Koka were in military Japan, is shown in the following example. The Soko Kushi document declares, I hear that those called Iga no Mono are great demand by other clans. The Mikawa Gofu Doki document states, The first time Tokugawa Iyasu used people from Koka, he had them attack a castle and put those inside into confusion and to take advantage of any gaps. As a result, 70 people died. He was much impressed and chose to use them thereafter. Page 163 The Fringes of Ninjutsu Where are all the shuriken? In popular imagery, a ninja leaps out from the darkness, blades flashing in the moonlight as darts of light leave his hands. Throwing the legendary shuriken or ninja throwing stars. Shuriken are not ninja weapons. In fact, they are used by the samurai and are weapons that belong to many schools of the warrior arts that exist even in Japan today. It may surprise many that the shuriken fail to appear in any of the main ninja manuals. The Bansen Shukai, the Shinobi Hiden, the Gunpo Jyoshu and the Shoninki. The Bansen Shukai is a manual of epic in scale and content and lists even the smallest points and most likely encompasses more knowledge that the average ninja had. As its purpose was to bring the fragments of ninjutsu together, yet the shuriken throwing star is not described. The only mention of shuriken in any of the manuals is with reference to a throwing torch with a nail attached to the end so that it will either stick in the ground or into a building. The manual states throw like a shuriken. However, future manuals may display shuriken. We've yet to find out. Page 168 The Double Shot Musket The Double Shot Musket and the Attempted Shooting of Oda Nobunaga As stated earlier, there are some records which specifically mention ninja assassinations. An attempt on the life of warlord over Nobunaga was one of them. However, what makes this especially amazing is the fact that the assassination attempts to use a secret ninja skill which is found in the Bansen Shukai, the double shot musket. 
The band Senshukai shed light on this ninja skill with instructions on the double shot musket. Put powder and a bullet as normal into the musket. Next place wet paper down the barrel on top of the first bullet and then place a second charge of gunpowder down the barrel. Then insert a bullet which is slightly smaller than the first one and cut a Hinawa fuse down to one sun in length. Light the fuse and put it down the barrel. When the Hinawa ignites the gunpowder the outer bullet fires. Then you may shoot the normal bullet as usual, giving you a second shot. Page 189. The following is an extract from Kimura Sensei's Shinobi Manual from the 1700s. Article 12. The difference today is that people are culturally enlightened and tend to learn academically and are more reasonable. Many people do not use or learn hidden secret skills which have been passed down from ancient times. For example, Mitsume and Kitsume listening and hearing with intensity, yoji gakure, toothpick hiding, and kara metsume, catching fingernail, are regarded as unreasonable and magical and even heretical skills, and people often follow up by quoting the following, saying, there should be nothing mystical about any righteous path. This retort of theirs is truly an example of the saying, shallow cleverness prevents you from travelling on the righteous path. In those secret ways or skills invented by ancient people, these miraculous skills seem unreasonable. But this is because others do not reach down deep inside of the way of these things. But you must note, there is reason found within these ancient ways, if you understand the truth of them. Not having realised such deep reasoning, a lot of people do not believe and abandon those skills, thinking they are evil and magical. Page 215 the 16 tools of the Sawamura family of Iga. Tool number one, Ikibashi, the retractable bridge. A tool needed when you cross over a moat. Tool number three, Kunai digging tool. A tool needed to climb up a stone wall or use when digging away to clay wall. Tool number four, Ikinawa, the pulling rope. A tool needed to cross over a place you are unfamiliar with. No Kogiri, saws. A tool needed when cutting through a fence or a wall. Tool number 14. Nobu Suma, field blanket. When you lay in ambush in a field, have your men wear this. The following is an extract from the Yoichi no Sho, the night attack scroll. You should attack the enemy position when you have been in camp for a prolonged period of time and have thus become neglectful. To know the situation of their camp, you should send shinobi close to the enemy camp and have them set fire to the enemy camp huts in the direction you are going to attack. At the same time as these flames reach up to your view, your attack group should give war cries and you should observe the situation inside the camp. If they are confused and surprised, move through their camp just like the howling wind. It is not a good procedure to perform this raid in a sluggish manner. If the enemy try to follow you out after you have raided, have ambush troops sent to attack them from the flank. You've been listening to a reading of In Search of the Ninja by Anthony Cummins. The book is available on Amazon and can be ordered at all good bookshops. For more information, please go to the website natori.co.uk or follow Anthony on Facebook. See the links below.